Hey everyone, this is ZC Shadow. Welcome back to Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 1. Try to say that five times fast. This is your good friend DC Shadow. Do you know what? I know I've been away from this LP for a while. So you know what? I'm going to make it up to you. We're going to play some Lost Labyrinth Zone. I've been a little hesitant to get, get to this, uh, this zone in particular. I mean, just for the sheer fact that it's... It's caused a little bit of stir within the community, but I I really only have a loose grasp of the community anyway. So whatever. Doesn't matter. Anyway, and well, the torch puzzle too, so... Yeah, that's just something I've been mulling over and just did, you know, do, like I said before, I do a little practice and just take care of things. So enough yammering. Let's get this shit over with. And if you haven't noticed already... It's kind of a hearkening back to good old Labyrinth Zone from Sonic 1. And, and honestly, it's... It, it, I'm not going to repeat what I've said in other videos, so it's there's really no point. But either way, it's it's the, the zone still holds, holds up on its own. I mean, it's still fun, it still plays well. It's, I just think the Torch Puzzle's kind of Sonic 4's barrel. And wow, I'm just going to get hit in the face quite a bit. Need to get a counter going. Who knows? But all right, homing attack one. Oh, look at that! That was bad. That was terrible. What was that? And what was that? Orbanot, fuck you! Fuck you! Ah oh, man. I don't know. Ever since uh, I don't know. I recorded my last episode of Mega Man Nine last night, and I just got really foul mouthed, and it's just I don't know. Maybe it's not the direction I want to go in, but I'm foul-mouthed by nature, so it really shouldn't. To me, it doesn't matter, I guess. But some, for some people, it's kind of a turn-off to have some to have them cuss in their LPs. And well, I don't know. I just present myself as myself in my LPs because that's who I am. Maybe I'm a little more animated. Sometimes not. Oh, oh damn it! And he wasn't even trying to shoot anything at me. How sad is that? We'll deal. We'll manage. Balance beams! Use the D-pad to keep yourself on the giant ball thing. Yeah. That's really all there is to it, but surprisingly, trying to control him as Super Sonic is actually way more difficult than trying to control him as regular Sonic. I mean, for obvious reasons, because, you know, he's faster. He's a little harder to control and so on and whatnot. So... Little uh, rule of thumb there, if you're ever playing in this uh, act as Supersonic, and I'm pretty sure you will. Oh, wait, oh, wait. What oh, lurks up there? Oh, crap, another giant ball that I've got to watch out for. Gee, money, Christmas. Ah, uh, So much fail, it's ridiculous. Oh, whoop! And that's just me being impatient. I mean, how sad is that? Whoa! Kind of a leap of faith there. Huh. Well, you learn new things every day. And, well, I guess I found myself an extra life. So, I can't complain about that not too much. But then again, this game just gives you lives like it were free candy. Free candy at the dentist's office, maybe. No. That's more like Contra without the Konami code. Or... Mario 2, Japanese Mario 2. Now that game was tough. But, never mind that. We've got our way through Act 1. And I'm a happy man. Because we're going to get th we're gonna get through the next one and we should be good. Let's hope so. Hopefully I don't spend too much time on that tor dreaded torch puzzle. Did a little practice. So you're going to have to cut me some slack here. Alright. And one annoyance I have right off the bat... There's a limited field of vision, I mean, he has a torch and everything, but I really don't see what the big deal with it was, but at least I tried to do interesting things with it. Wait, ooh, is that a super ring? Yes, it was. Ha-ha, eat that, robot thing. Actually, yeah, drill robot from Sonic 1, because apparently Eggman was on a budget. Or, more precisely, Sega was on a budget. I don't know. I'm just glad this game doesn't suck. Well, royally. Because it's good. It's definitely, definitely better than the 3D, 
Sonics as of late. And I'm just gonna leave it at that because I've said it before. And I sadly haven't had the chance to try out Sonic Colors, uh, DS or DS or Wii, because well I don't own a Wii for one. Would be nice though. Would be really nice. But then again, I probably would never play it. I mean, yeah, I've played I've played Brawl and various other Wii games. Just have it. Whoa. Just really haven't done anything else with it. And it's funny because we actually had a Wii once, and uh, let's just say it went missing quite easily. And not by my fault, because it's, well, not my Wii first and foremost. And it just sort of up and left. Can't really explain that one now, can we? Oh, oh. And watch for those explosions, they will kill. Damn it, I did that in the practice run. And then again, if I did this in the practice run, come on. Okay, you, you want to just lurk there? Cool, that's cool too. Ah, that's why. Ha! Yeah. Get him over here. Oh well. So one good thing about Sonic games is you don't have to worry about you don't have to worry about dying too much if you're careful. And I tend to abuse the you can survive on one ring deal. So what can I say? I'm a weirdo. Oh, wait. Okay, that'll work. I'll take that. Weird physics and all. Oh, yeah. Uh, I sense we're getting close. Close to that dreaded puzzle. But then again, we're just lighting dynamite like a boss. So, oh. Well, there's another one. Flip the switch and so on and whatnot. Okay, come on. We should be. Oh, wait, wait. Get away from the dynamite! Dynamite Rave? Ugh. Sign you've played way too much DDR. And, gee, speaking of DDR, man, I kinda miss it. I mean, I really have I've been on, like, you know, playing in the arcade. I mean, you can play it on a dance pad, but like any other people, anybody who's ever done that before knows what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay, light that one. Light that one, and... Ah! I'm leaving. That's why you don't hit the third one. Alright. Light this one for light. One. Wait a little bit. Two. And there you go. Figured it out. Easy as pie. And to be fair, I kind of got stuck on it myself, so don't think you're an idiot, because I did it too. And it, once you figure it out, you, you kind of slap yourself in the head, because I kind of, for some reason wrapped my brain around it for no good reason, and I don't know why I found it to be so difficult. Sheesh, okay. No, I'm missing a torch. There's a torch somewhere, and he's hiding from me. Yeah. I just had, had to go up. Wow. Obvious. Whoa. How many times have I lost rings this, this stage? I have no idea. I haven't been keeping count. I don't have my Sonic kit, Sonic Hits scorebook here. But ah, oh, damn it! Yeah, stay away from those explosive barrels. But I'm careless and gullible, I guess. Cause I just keep wanting to run into things with my face. But whatever. I'm just thankfully getting through this without having spent having spent a ass ton of time on that damn. That damn uh, puzzle it was just yeah. First time I played through it, I was actually in front of a uh, whole bunch of my friends, and you know I was just gung ho about it because I'm like, holy shit, Sonic Four is not gonna suck ass. And you know, this is like the whole time we were what, the whole time I was playing it because I pretty much played from uh, played from Splash Hill to Mad Gear. I mean, I, oh yeah, actually I got all the way to Eggman. And boy, was that an experience. And you're gonna see that here. Wait. Yeah. Kind of a safe feel safe. And you're gonna see that later, and it's just gonna be fun as hell, I'll give you that. So. Let's keep going here, because we're at the end of the dreadful zone that everybody dreads. No ring. We'll just let it hypnotize us again. It could be Donald Trump's portal to success. It just might be.
You never know. 35 lives. I told you this game hemorrhages them, and I'll keep telling you that. It's not my fault. Sega seems to think that it's too easy, but Sonic games have been fairly easy to begin with anyway, so what's the point? So let's just keep going here. Come on! Anytime we can hurry it up, I'm happy. But I can tell you right now, the, the difficulty curve really spikes in uh, the egg station zone. Uh, mostly, be well, mostly because of the uh, final boss, and believe me, that it it really does come out of left field because you're just like, what the fuck? Whoa! I need water. Er, well, I'm in water. I'm in air. Hi. Water, air, stuff, things that hedgehogs need to survive. Well, they don't need golden rings, but we'll at least give Sonic the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he just likes to, you know, live it up a little, but then again... Ooh, damn. Uh, I don't care what iteration it is, every time I hear that music, I want to... I start searching frantically. And, duh. It's just no fun. And I'm pretty sure everybody, the kids my age, well and maybe a little younger played this, they probably had a bit of nightmares for that one. But I know I didn't. It was just really, really bad. Hit the switch. No, no switch. Fuck you. Doesn't this look a lot like Scrap Brain Zone? Sweet shoes! Let's go! Guess there's an advancing wall of doom. Sign you on TV tropes a, uh, tropes a lot. When it drops a Bridget on you. Come on! To make matters worse, it's an advancing wall of doom in water! Then again, it could be in space. Which could be even worse, but I don't mind to talk. Yay, we did it! We got out of there! In record time, no less, I guess. Ugh! Ah! There we go. That's nice. Too bad this isn't a bubble shield. And we've got a lot of extra lives, so I don't care. Where am I going? We're going this way, apparently. Huh. Must be hit or miss with that. He's an idiot. Oh, there we go. Must have hit him just right in the last one. Well, jeez. Thanks for that extra gift. That two seconds. The two seconds that I already used, I guess. Don't care. Don't really care at all, so let's go, let's go! I just want to get this act over with, I don't know why. Everything about it just makes me want to punch something. What can I say? I have a predisposition for impatience. Maybe, maybe I get it from my family. I have no clue. Because a lot of people in my family are kind of impatient. Okay. How are we going to pull this one? There are spikes there, I believe. Yeah, there are spikes. And I could end up killing myself here. Damn it! I never could get that right, and I don't know why. At least we can start right here. Hooray for checkpoints! They're like save states, only you, they re you rely on finding them, you just can't use them at will. Alright, let's try this again. Sonic Sync. Ah! Alright, let's try that again. Oh, oh damn it! Ugh. Never figured out how to get through this part. Actually, yeah, I did. I beat the game. What the hell am I talking about? I guess it's just really a matter of finesse. Let's just see if there are times the charm. This could get annoying really fast. Hmm. Alright. He's gonna slide it out. Come on. The cork will pop. Damn it! And it slides back into place. Fuck. Come 
Come on. You got this. Inch it. Inch it. You got it. Yes! Thank God. Third time was the charm. I just had to be a little patient. Oh, whatever. I don't need anything. We're pretty close to the end of this act anyway. Doesn't bother me a damn bit. Come on. We're gonna find the end of this act. If, even if it kills me. Again. Well, there it is. Guess we've gotta find a switch. And I think it's right there. Nope. Just more rings. Fuck, I missed it. Go back to it again. See if we can get it right this time. Hey guys, I found the switch. Where was it? I don't know. It was just there. No, wrong area. Damn it! We did it! We didn't completely fail and fall on our faces! And that makes me a happy camper. So now we get to fight Eggman once more. <sighs> and to be fair, it's not real. This one is. Well, this first part's a ripoff. If you played Sonic 1, you've seen this. You've seen this many times before. So no matter how many times you hit him, it doesn't matter. Because you're waiting to get to that second part. The environment is your enemy, not Eggman. Let's see if I can race the water. Come on. That's kind of the trick here, just to be aware of your surroundings. And I know that's a bit too obvious of, an, of advice, but... The best I can give you right now. Alright. Ooh, geez, she went right under those guys. Eh, couldn't get that forever. Alright. Oh, and the bad part about this is, there's no star post, so if you die, you've got to do this shit all over again. So, you've really got to watch yourself here. Especially with this goofy-ass puzzle. i grab some rings for security. Alright. So, I guess you could say it's sort of a combination of Labyrinth Zone boss and Sonic 1's final boss. Because there will be pillars that will smash you. Like a so. The top one's gonna keep it, and come on, give me a second hit. Yes! Thank God. This shit is annoying sometimes, I swear. Okay, where am I going? Where am I going? You're going over here. Yes. Ah. <sighs> yeah. Part of the it, part of the problem for this one is just trying to find a proper spot to just stop him in. So, I think we'll be fine here. Uh, yeah. Same one again. Ah, right. oh, damn. Well, that was it. He's dead. Can't complain too much on that now, can you? Not one bit. So, I guess that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. And I was all scared. Maybe I shouldn't have, but you know what? That's the end of this zone. And so, until next time, I'll see you guys in Mad Gear. This is DC Shadow. See you guys next time.